Normally you go to your Windows or add and remove program in your Windows to remove your applications. But this tool normally doesn't remove everything on the system related to that application or that program. So what is the solution? Revo Uninstaller. Use a free product there. You have, of course, a Pro One free uninstaller for your mobile. Let's go with the application. You can download it, the one here. So after you download it, and this is the main page of this application. Start with the uninstaller. This is all the application, which is, you can go ahead and remove it from here. So if you go and select one of this application, and go ahead and do uninstall. Here we'll give you the option to create a system restore point before uninstalling. If you're not sure about the application you're trying to remove, maybe affecting some uh, uh, system or maybe you have some, you, you have doubt about this application anyway. To be in the safe side, just make a restore point before doing that. For me, I don't want to do it, so just continue. Now here, it will run the remove application uninstaller for the same application, the native one. So here you can go ahead and do yes. Now successfully removed from your computer. This is the normal typical way it is removed. Even if you go to add and remove from program is in your Windows, it'll give you the same message. Now here when this program start working. Here we go with a scanning, go with a moderate or advanced or safe. Normally I go with moderate, do the scanning, Here, it tell you there is no leftover find on this item. So this is the first time uh, I'm facing this. So let's say any other application, maybe. Let's go with this. An uninstaller. Continue. Uh, here we'll run the uninstalled application, finish. We'll go with a scan. Here we'll find the first leftovers of registry items. You can see all this list. You select it all, you can delete it here. Here the other surprise, we can find the full folder and files have been stored in your disk. You can select it all of this and delete it as well. So in this way, you completely remove everything related to that application. I'll go to the sixth, second tab, which is Windows app. This is uh, very interesting because here you can actually delete the Windows app, which is preloaded on the Windows which normally you can't remove it from the add and remove programs in your windows. So even Cortana, you can remove it from here. Let's go with something we want to remove. One note, let's say I want to remove it. Let's go remove that. We'll run Windows on the PowerShell to remove this application. After removing, we perform a scanning. This is a scanning of registry. Select it all and delete. That's it. If the next step did not come with the folders, that means there is no folder or file for this application. Now let's go with the tools. Now this is the most two parts of this video, which is the removing the application, which is related to these two windows, or these two tabs. Uninstaller and Windows app, where you can remove your application completely here. Want to have more look about tools, Tools are very interesting as well. How to run uh, manager, which is gonna give you like you can select what is auto start with your Windows. Like I don't want to start this Adobe thing. I want to remove it. Sure, let's remove that check mark from there. Or you can remove it directly from here, and that's it. But keep it in case you wanna start it again or restart this one again, this service again. Sometimes, of course, here you have application and services that appear all of it on Task Manager. Junk file cleaner. Interesting, we can just run some scanning here and we'll find you all the temporary files which has uh, been stored in your disk for a long time. Maybe we have so many. That's only the partition which is on your operating system. When this tool, you have many tools can be used here. You can have uh, system restore points. You can have network information, system information. You can check your desk. Sometimes some of these you can have to run the you know the command to run it. And you have on screen keyboard. You have this uh, backup and restore. Some useful tools you can just look at it and see which is benefit you. Here we have a browser cleaner which is very interesting. You can select any browser you're using. You want to delete some history, 
temporary internet files, delete cookies, delete download history, history sessions, and all that. So you can just hit one clear, and you can remove it. And the browser will go back as default. All your data being stored before being removed. This is one test to remove all your from any browser you are using here. Have as well Microsoft Office Cleaner. You can select any one of this and clean some files. Windows Cleaner, you can select trace any registry files contained on these. Be just careful what you currently or what you exactly selecting to remove. Here, these tools are which are very interesting tools, which is Evidence Remover. This is for any files you have removed in the past. But sometimes these files can be restored by using some other application. In case you have this, you have a hard drive, which is a sixteen hard drive. You give it to somebody, you delete everything, you format it, you give sell it maybe, or you give it to somebody to use it. But that person can also restore what is data been deleted before on this application or this hard drive. So here you can remove any evidence of anything being removed before. So that application cannot be or that application cannot restore that files the trying to restore it in your hard drive. The second tool, which is related, uh, the, related to the same point, but here you can select directly a folder or file, and here directly you can remove it completely, permanently, and you don't have to go back to the above tool. Just use this tool directly to delete any file, and nobody can be able to restore it back to their drive. And this is only with a free version of this application. You can upgrade it to Pro in case if you need some additional feature of this, but I feel most of you will use the free one when it help you to clean your windows. Hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.